enjoying the show, show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world and share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. UltiLeague.net We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block, unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Bichon picks up and they've got a short field. They've got another goal. It's tied up at 12. I can't not believe what goes. I'm seeing Can here. Lola Dam chase that one down? That is a score for Hasliger Elverkel. Fantastic run by Julia Love. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. And we believe that that requires knocking down the paywall. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch, and we want them to go viral. When you become a member, you enable us to improve our working relationships with tournament organizers, events and federations. And you'll help us to produce live stories for Ultimate fans, and to generate new fans with our enhanced content. We, we are, are a group, group of, of ultimate, ultimate players, players, coaches and video enthusiasts and we want to bring you coverage on a more consistent basis. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Ciao ragazzi, support the community. And subscribe Ultimate TV, there's lots of the videos, posting, everything, check it out. <laughs> they are the best one. Woo! If you want to grow Ultimate Sports, uh, become a member of Ulti TV. Regardez Ulti TV. Deviens un membre de Ulti TV et fais grandir ta communauté. Top Ulti TV. Salme et Roginkime. Ulti TV top and draw menace. Si quieres ayudar a Ulti TV, puedes ser miembro de Ulti TV. Thumbs up for Ulti TV. Everyone, follow Ulti.tv on Instagram, on YouTube. They've got everything. Best like, content. Like their pictures if you love frisbee, just do it. We're counting on you. Leave me a love for Ulti TV. Game member of Ulti TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> Contribute to the Ultimate with Ulti TV. Like and subscribe, Ulti TV, the best in the world. We want to grow Ultimate. We want to grow Ultimate. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We have our signature style two camera setup with thousands of hours of experience. And our crew is globally dispersed to facilitate coverage everywhere around the world. We can also scale back our broadcast with just one elevated camera. Or scale up with two fields, two cameras and two commentators on each. We work with local teams and we all have the same mission, to grow the sport and bring it to new people by providing live coverage and new stories. Become a member today on our Patreon page. And, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories, ideas and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.
Now let's go electric, become a member. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. Good morning everyone. You recover from that last game yet? No? Good, because I haven't either. <laughs> Welcome back to the European Ultimate Indoor Championships here in Lithuania. We're at the Prinai Arena bringing you action from the Open Division. Our final quarter-final has Finland up against Sweden, so a very Nordic feel to the Frisbee for the next hour or so. For Sweden, they finished top of Pool C, three wins out of three, although only a plus nine goal difference, which shows that they've had a lot of tight games. They started off by beating Latvia 2, 15-11, and then continued that, beat Ukraine 16-14, and finished off with a 17-14 win over Great Britain. For Finland, they've come out of Pool B. They were second in that pool behind the Netherlands. Two wins and a loss. They started the day with a 17-5 win over Turkey. And then they went down to the Netherlands 17-13 before a strong finish to the day. 17-4 win over Denmark. So the Swedes, you definitely put as favourites. But... Until you actually see them play, you never know. I'm actually not going to spoil the result of the last game because uh, you need to go back and watch it at some point. Honestly, phenomenal. And of course, we're in the Netherlands, Ukraine, quarter final. Finland going to begin receiving here. Finland in the white, Sweden in the blue. Oh, we're underway. Sivo. Nini. And there's a bit of a bump on the mark, I think. Foul accepted. The Swedish side has a really interesting mix of youth and experience. There's the scuba. Oh, there's no one there for Nini. Not quite sure what happened. Felix Anderson picks it off. And he has it in his hands now. Swad. Adam Smyer. To Biren. Here's Anderson, who intercepted that wayward pass. High one up from Biren, towing the line. Brilliantly done there from Gustav Robertson. A break on the first point. How often have we seen it this weekend? Biren to Robertson. Gives the Swedes a 1-0 lead. So he's just tossing this one up there. Not rocketed like some of the hammers we've seen. But he has position there on Jarno Sivo. Does Robertson. And you can very clearly see that left foot touchdown first inbounds. Aurori Onsen with the pull. 
Here's Sivo. Underneath. Hold on, Emo. Now play towards the far side from Sandberg. I think that's out the back. Sandberg just overthrew it slightly. Well, you could argue, I guess, that the receiver should have had a better effort at getting that first foot inbounds. That one bounces out of the hands of Aurora Jonsson, and Nini picks it off. There's the scuba from Sandberg. That one's much better. And will give Nini the bookends. Tying us up at ones. Just I like the way he's not keeping that scuba flat like we often see. He's intentionally getting a little bit of verticality on it, letting it come up and then down so we can hit that soft spot at the front of the end zone perfectly. First time we'll see the Swedish O-line take the field. Jenshaw. Plays the one-two with Hermansen. And Hermansen gets it again here. Jenshaw. Hermansen and Jenshaw just playing it between themselves at the moment. Here's the always impressive Jonathan Angergaard. All the way across to Hermansen. Angergaard coming underneath. Looking for the blade over the top, spreading the field across. Engström. Low, wow, that throw was really zipped into Angergaard and Angergaard. Just leading Tayin into the end zone. Nice clean offense there for the Swedes to take a 2 1 lead. I say clean offense because, well, they didn't turn it over, and I'm not sure they came that close to turning it over, but it wasn't fluid at any rate. That was maybe the diciest pass. Seeing that inside backhand and really lasered it in there to Angergaard. And then just judge the next one perfectly. Oh, that's a straight run through there. Robertson picked the pocket. And it is stolen right back and capitalised on for the score by Eric Kittonen. Heaton and wasted no time putting that one deep, did he? Elonimo with the score. So, still tied at twos. Strandell. Hermansen. Angergaard. Angergaard is zipping it in there to Johan Lee Anderson for the score. How many times have I called Johan Lee Anderson scoring over the years? Well, that's just what he does. The man was born in the end zone. That's his 11th goal this tournament, although he has racked up an assist, which is unusual for him. And certainly a cross-generational match-up there. Lee Anderson now 
I think maybe even Grandmaster's age. As that one is tipped. And intercepted, that's a nice snag. Robertson with another block to his name. Heistel putting it deep. Oh, reaching over his head and bringing it down. Beaumark probably breathing a sigh of relief as Felix Anderson spares his blushes. And given the pale Swedish complexion, I think the blushes would show up strongly. Another Swedish break, 4-2 they lead. That's a great grab there from the heavily tattooed Anderson. Hitton and Fields at the back of the end zone. Looking very appropriately bearded for this part of the world. Sandberg underneath on the sideline to Nini. And Nini gets Sivo just coming to the front side of the end zone. Phil and Paul one back at 3-4. A little bit of air bounce on that one towards the far sideline. He's a little bit deceptive because you see the blue over there and you think, oh, that must be off the pitch, but no, it is on. The white line just beyond it is the sideline. <laughs> Pull fielded by Jenshaw. Angergaard. He's going to be uh, tearing up ultimate for Sweden for many years to come. Engstrom, Angergaard, Ooh, big fake, and Angergaard and Lee Anderson, that is money, 5-3. Would not surprise me if Lee Anderson is double Angergaard's age at this point. But it always just goes to show that if you're good enough, you're old enough. If you know what I mean. You know that Jonathan's father, Stefan, is part of the coaching setup. I think his sister, Alva, is representing the Swedish women's side. Here's a deep shot from Sandberg. Bang on the money to Nini. Four, five. Slightly disappointed that Nini scored because it ruined his very aesthetically pleasing stat line of a goal, an assist, a block, and a turnover. And now he's got two goals. And my lovely, aesthetically pleasing commentary source is uh, it's not quite so symmetrical anymore. Alexander Hutmanson. Hermanson putting air underneath it. Ungergaard rips it out of the sky over two Finnish defenders. A hero maker of a pass. And Jonathan Ungergaard ruling the roost here in Lithuania. It's quite an un indoorsy throw this from Hermanson. You tend to think about the deep shots kind of being at a sharper angle, zippier, rather than floating them up there. That was a bit more outdoorsy, but Angergaard brought it down superbly. Hitterman. Elenamo. This is, as mentioned, the kind of deep shot you see. It is zippier. It's got that angle on it a bit more. And Sebastian Aurorionsen cannot do anything about it. 5-6. 
Sandberg back in the stat sheet. A goal now to add to his two assists. I think you're seeing there with indoors why it doesn't matter if you know you take the you take the resets, you lose yardage, you go backwards. Because at this level you should have throwers who can who can hit the end zone from every spot on the pitch. They just have the right options to do so. Engstrom goes back to Angergord. Hermanson underneath, there's a player poached on the far side, they find it, Tain. Knifing over the top. Hermanson. Back to Yensho. Yensho sitting that one up there, but he undercooked it. Picked off by Furio. And punished. Punished ruthlessly. Finland level us up at six apiece. Here's the replay. Avaninen just outside the end zone. And Kinunen with the continuation cut. Brings Finland level. We're not on serve. As yet, that's Finland's first break of the game and they started on offense. So they need another here to take the lead and bring the game back on serve. Strandel. Ungergaard calls for the intermediaries to clear out so he can collect that reset. Breaks to Hermanson. Hermanson high. The Anderson toes it. I thought he towed it in the pitch, but not in bounds. The Finnish defender asked the question. He was told by the sideline that. That he looked in. Certainly that was my perspective from up here in our little booth. Strandell. He's got poaches behind. He'll take one of them, Hermanson. Runs the one-two. Strandell on the end zone line. Angergaard charges forward from the back of the end zone, unseen by the Finnish defence. Sweden back in front, 7-6. You see here, defender, he just looks over the wrong shoulder. With that position there, it's so unlikely that Angergaard's going to go all the way around the back there, that close to the sideline, takes the inside track and gets to the front of the end zone for the score. Elonemo. Mm, a little handler movement there. Sandberg to the end zone. Robertson on an island there, no help. And Nini roasts him to that break side for the score. Sandberg and Nini, after maybe struggling a bit at the start, seem to have got that connection locked in now. Angergaard to Hermanson. Here's Strandell. Angergaard. Blading it over the top, Tain. Down the line, Angergaard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I thought that was some sensational toe drag swag from Hermanson.
I'm pretty sure I heard someone from the sidelines say VAR. We'll see if we can get a look at it at the replay. Here's the upline cup developing from Hermanson. I think that looks good from... So the current score is Sweden 8, Finland 7, Ulti TV 1. We'll take credit for that. No, full disclosure. Uh, although I'm here, the Zoom TV crew doing the production here. Excellent camera work, rolling the replays well as well. I've been a, a, really, a real pleasure to work with for the uh, day and a half. Not even that so far. And we to Hermanson on that previous score, and it was indeed the toe drag slag. Hittinen swinging across Sivo. Sandberg. Oh, that's a spicy one, but it drops down beautifully for Nini at the back of the end zone. Eight apiece. We got ourselves some Galaxy points. Sudden death to take half. So Sweden will begin, will receive to begin the second half. So if they can hold here, it will almost count double. As they can do the old two for none. Two possessions back to back. Hermanson with the knife. Oh, it's undercooked and Nini tips it over the bar. Could, thing us, could Finland bring us back on serve right at the end of this first half? Hatari picks up. Swinging around the back, Varnanen. Petroikas. Hotari. You see John and Marshall traffic downfield. Accepted foul on Hermanson. And the scuba, oh, they had that break side wide open. Nini will collect his fifth goal of this first half. But rather than Sandberg, his usual thrower, it's Hatari. And Finland have stormed back. And they lead Sweden 9-8 at the interval now. highlight reel from that first half with Sweden breaking on the first point and getting another one soon after it looked like they were in control of this game but the Finns have begun to find a bit of form they grew in confidence and stature as that half went on pulled one break back and then breaking there on Galaxy Point to bring us back on serve going into the second half those shots that weren't connecting early on in the game and the Finns challenging them a bit better. That's how I give you the play of the game so far. Angergord dominating the skies. It's 
in an entertaining back and forth contest. Which way will the second half go? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to keep it here on Ulti TV. Reminder that we have action from three divisions here today. The Open here in Prinai. A mixed from Galivar. Currently Estonia versus Lithuania. And the women's division from Costa, which is at the moment Latvia versus Great Britain. So start of the second half. Sweden on offense. Feel that they need to come out with a nice clean hold here. Don't let Finland establish themselves in the second half as they were able to do as the first half ticked on. Hermansen wants to float one up there. I think probably on a high stall. The turnover is definitely going to stand here and the stall is going to be uncontested. I'll pipe it down as a Hermanson turnover, but there's always more to a stall out than just the thrower. And just the marker. Hatari. Winkvist. High one over towards the far side. Oh, Hermanson might have even got a tiny piece of it, but not enough to divert it away from Rona Hatari. Vanenen in the backfield. Hatari to Winkvist. Kinunen. Kinunen wants to blade it over the top. Angergord nearly got there again. Now he's drawn the Hatari matchup. Oh, that is a wicked break from Roni Hatari. Sensational. Two point lead now for Finland. 10 8. Angagor just gets it into position there. And this is really good. He's utilizing the throw and go technique to create a little bit of separation past the mark, sneaks it under his hand, gives him that inside out channel through to Peku Kinnunen and Peku Kinnunen makes it 10-8. And enjoyed a nice little sit down on the sideline afterwards. Job well done. Beren went to catch the ball, but it's a little bit too high and too deep. Angergord, knifing it over the top. Engström, Angergord. Everything looking quite compressed at the moment for the Swedes. Fields not really being stretched. Biren towards the back of his own end zone. Robertson to Angergord. Angergaard, I think he wants to open it up a little bit here. That's a good way of doing it. Tim Tain over the top. Letting Angergaard run the show here. And it pays dividends because he nailed the delivery of that hammer over the top. Very vertical, but it drops down into the hands of Hermann Engström. Sweden still down 10-9, but getting closer. Now they get the opportunity to go and see if they can try and find this break. When there's no force on Angergord. And he's got time to really pick his spot, pick his moment and execute. That's going to be tough. See, Finnish coach on the side, uh, the Swedish coach on the sideline, I think that might be Stefan Angergord just saying, hey, they're, they're utilizing the, the low releases, the inside outs quite a lot. Don't be afraid to get those feet into the force. And he saw Tain try and do that there. 
Another inside shot to Alan Nemo this time. This one towards the back of the end zone. Kavorte oh, and hit the floor. But Sandberg hit the gas and catches and makes it 11-9. Again, just sees a step or two of separation. Flings it deep. See, so getting that line underneath, drawing the defender out of the play. And then just adjusting his line to catch the disc for the score. Angergaard, a couple of players streaking deep, but they're covering each other up, so we'll go into the backfield instead. Now Biren, Hermanson showing the hammer, but it's back in the toolbox for now. There it comes, Biren adjusts to catch the knife. Angergaard, high, sticks it into the back of the end zone. Connecting with Herman Engstrom again, 11-10. You can't help but feel that Jonas and Angergaard, maybe all the hype is justified, given that he's got two goals and six assists out of Sweden's 10 scores so far. So Finland, a lot of work in their own half at the start of this possession, but they finally broken through, sits the force down, Angergaard picks himself up, no real damage done, Sandberg, he sold Anderson to the wrong side with the fake, and Nini will catch his sixth goal. Sandberg to Nini again in this game, and it's now 12-10 to Finland. need to keep putting their offense in and they need to find a way to generate breaks afterwards. Biren, oh, Angergaard at the back of the end zone, overshot him slightly, tried to go trailing edge in a desperate attempt to scoop it up. The Finns answer emphatically is that a dagger through Swedish hearts it might be Vorio going deep for the win potentially who knows Atari judges this throw beautifully and Biren having turned over Becomes the unfortunate walrus. Getting scored on at the other end. Timeout called here by the Swedes because they need to find something and they need to find it fast. Because at the moment, well, not only is the team just traded on here, out here from here, would Finland win, but it feels like Finland are the more likely side to get the break. The Finns haven't turned it over since they were broken and the Swedes made it 4-2 in their favour.
We'll see if the timeout can provide the spark that Sweden so desperately seem to need right now. Ungergord. Jenscho. Ungergord to Jenscho again, this time on the far sideline. Angergold comes through, Lee Anderson cutting towards that sideline, didn't get it. Laid over the top, Yensho kind of remonstrating. Look, Hermanson, you need to be, you need to be here. That is lovely play though outside the end zone. Engstrom coming through. And then using Angergold as, as a fulcrum just to seesaw off, bounce the disc back and forth. Lovely give-go move. And Ungergord finds Engström in the end zone to make it 13-11. Just over eight minutes left on the game clock, as you can see. 42 minutes, the time cap comes on. Sivo going back. Sandberg has to chase. Squares up. Disc was fading away there from Anti Elonimo, but he makes the catch. Hitonen. Sivo. Nini. That one. Oh! Anandsmeyer hit the deck. So did Sandberg belatedly, but Sandberg with a brilliant catch under tight pressure. That one, miscommunication. Heatonen put it one way, Nini went the other. Knocked to the floor, and then Angagor tried to punch it in and couldn't do so. Was that the opportunity? Was that the chance? One. What a toe in that is from Nini. Although they're calling the straddle, saying that both feet landed at the same time. And his teammate, Johan Biren, saying, no, he got the left foot down first. It's all good. Good spirit, very fair minded. But Nini going for the knife over towards the far sideline just sold it short. the first point all game by the way where any either side has turned it over on more than one occasion and Finland's perfect offensive streak since they were broken to make it 4-2 is snapped Biren going back to Angergord everything is very congested in that front corner of the end zone and it felt almost inevitable that a pick might occur there High knife on a high stall. And Ungergaard sees his effort. Tipped away by Sandberg. But the Swedish defensive pressure has definitely improved after they took that time out. Here's a high blade deep. Ungergaard! <laughs> oh my word! Comes over the top and punishes. That's an outrageous block from Jonathan Angergaard. Can't really fault the throw there from Elon Emo. 
just a ridiculous block. Ungergaard got a couple of them wrong in that point, but that one he measured well. And the Swedes get the break that they desperately needed. Tayen catches and makes it 13-12. Still need a couple more if they are to win this game. But they're keeping pace, keeping the Finns within their sights now. Heaton and catches the pull. Onto the one two with Hatari. And now come over to play offense. Sandberg wants Hatari, has Hatari. I thought for a second he might have overshot it. But I guess I just underrated, underestimated how fleet of foot Hatari was. Now has a goal to add to his three assists. Just under three minutes of game time left before the cap comes on. Angergaard. An emphatic clap catch. This is a skyscraper of a cat, of a play. Oh my goodness, I very nearly saw that, I came so close. Engstrom's I think the thrower. Hermanson looked like he had it, but he might have had to come through Hatari to get it. They're saying goal stands. And what a goal it is as well from Hermanson. We've seen mostly in the handling set. But now he sees the opportunity to strike and go deep. Oh, filth. <laughs> it's been, well, we had some outrageous grabs in the last game. Not exactly been short of them in this game either. Quarterfinals starting have really delivered. Up next, by the way, a five of the eight semi final Lithuania versus Poland, as that one just skims off the wooden floor. Sivo might get out of jail here as the disc is intercepted and flipped in for Finland. Angergaard, oh, it might be tipped on the mark, potentially. Elonimo run through, and then right on the end zone line, all he has to do just pop that one into Nini for the score. Nini's seventh goal now. Biren. Well, I think there was space for the up line, but he didn't like it. There's the Huta play on at the moment. We'll finish the point and then add one, and that'll be our cap. And that one all bobbled! At the worst possible time by Joachim Jensho. What a time for that. Can they find a way to force it in? They can indeed. 
that's Ronnie Hotari to Tuko Vartanen. Vartanen, excuse me. 16-13 now, so it's game to 17. Has to be four on the bounce for Sweden. It's a tough ask. It's a very tough ask. You just have to get the first one in and take it point by point by point by point. Hermansen underneath Engstrom. Ungergaard. Ungergaard. Oh, that is a visionary throw. But Hermansen couldn't come up with it. Foul called. I loved the look. How much contact there was. Whether that affected the catch. That's for those two to decide. So it is an accepted foul. Hermanson brings in on the end zone line. And punches it in over the top. Well, that's the first part of the job done. Put the O point in. Hermanson to Engstrom. So looking around for options here. Heatonen floats one up for Sandberg. He's been phenomenal in this game itself. There's a bid. It's not getting there though, but maybe it just interrupted the rhythm of the Finns. Normally you associate them with being ice cool under pressure. Maybe not. Can they find a way through? The rising stall. They're into hammer to the far side. And Sandberg deflects it. When I went up, when it went up, I was thinking, I was really, was that it? And it needs to go. Sivo's overhead hits the rafters. Now the turnover on this point for Sivo. Way bad. Wanted to. Oh, wow. I do not know how they found that window. I'm pretty sure Jano Sivo doesn't know either. 16 15. Game's still not done. There's the cut that comes slashing across from Arendsmeyer. Sivo sees it. I think he might get a touch on it. It just deflects back to Arendsmeyer. And from there, with no one on Tain, it's a simple flip in, but woof.
Here's the shot that could win it all for Finland. Nini over the top to Ronnie Hitari. Finland 17, Sweden 15. The upset is sprung by the Finns. Second game in a row where the underdog has come away with the victory. Swinland and Sweden and the Netherlands won their pools. Over Ukraine, over Finland respectively. And yet it is Ukraine and Finland who will take their places in the semis. While the Netherlands and Sweden have to be consent to play for fifth place. It can be a cruel game sometimes, sport. Right, time to wrap this one up because our next game starts in about 10 minutes time and that is Lithuania up against Poland in the 5-8 bracket. So we'll get this finished so we can get everything ready to go for the next one on behalf of all of our crew here. Benji Reese saying we will see you on the other side. Don't be afraid, won't let you fall down